the first day we have like uh, we had an epic with this climb. Chuck would try it, then Andy would try it, and I would try it. It took us like probably like two and a half, three hours before we figured out the sequence. Day two, <laughs> day two, um, I, le I linked it from the start and fell going on the final hard move and I was like, cool, this thing might go, so I, I just rested and then I, my next go I ended up getting all the way to the end and falling on the last like, like V6 jump move. Last Saturday, I competed in the ABS Nationals. How did you do? I did good. I ended up winning it. And then I dreamed about this problem. You start on this jug undercling, and then you just you smear next to your right hand, and you just pop out to this pinch. And then you pick your feet around, and you squeeze this like candy bar style feature. And then you just perch on that heel hook, and you pop again to this bad pinch. You fall in left hand to this decent undercling. You do this huge move all the way up to this like decent sloper. And then when you sink that, you get a bicycle, you pop that left, you do like two easy crimp transition moves. Then you pop left hand out to the to the arete, to this jug. And then you, you do kind of a hard move falling into the arete for your right hand. You got this two finger left hand uh, intermediate. You post your feet up on the right, and you do a final jump move to this jug and then pop out. I think it's like a four star problem, like it's definitely one of the most unique problems I've done on the front range and has has everything to it from power to technique to dynoing to it's on the river, it's a river boulder. Those are kind of rare to come upon. Um, right now it's it's perfect. It's good to go.